One question we hear a lot is, is it okay to rinse with salt water if you have high blood pressure? You see, many people search for natural remedies that can enhance oral and dental health, as well as reduce tooth decay and bad breath. And one of these remedies is rinsing with salt water. So today, we'll answer this question and many more. The short answer is yes. It is safe for people with high blood pressure to rinse with salt water. As long as you don't swallow the solution, it won't raise your blood pressure. However, if the salt water is swallowed after rinsing, it could lead to an increase in blood pressure. This is because the sodium content in salt is a key factor in raising blood pressure. There are several benefits to rinsing with salt water. It helps to reduce swelling, lower bacteria levels in the mouth, and improve breath odor. However, if you have an issue with your mouth, such as an infection or bleeding gums, it's important to see a doctor. Another method that can help improve oral and dental health is by using a solution of baking soda in warm water with a small amount of salt. The baking soda helps to remove teeth stains and plaque, speed up gum healing, and eliminate bad breath due to its antiseptic properties. Now let's talk about how to properly rinse with salt water. First, add one half teaspoon of salt to a glass of warm water. Stir until the salt is completely dissolved. Next, use the solution to rinse your mouth for 30 seconds. Make sure to swish the solution around in your mouth so that it reaches all areas. After 30 seconds, spit out the solution and repeat the process if necessary. You should also know that it is not recommended to use very hot water when making the salt solution because the high temperature can damage your teeth and gums. It's important to note that while these natural remedies can be helpful, they are not a substitute for professional dental care. If you have any concerns about your oral or dental health, it's always best to consult with a dentist. We hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe for more health tips. Thanks for watching.